Hi there. Looking, uh, having a hunt around the garden. I found me a nice little stag beetle larvae under one of the logs. Quite a creature, but he's uh, still quite small. Of course, this time of year you can find lots of uh, things like that underground, but uh, certain uh, little insects and mini beasts, we won't have so many. No caterpillars just yet, anywhere. Mind you, hidden apples here. Well, we do have a caterpillar. And actually, you might recognise him. We've got a story about this caterpillar. Let me read it to you. It's called The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stump cake. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big bat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself and he stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out and he was a beautiful butterfly. There you go guys, a very hungry caterpillar. It's made me feel quite hungry actually. Excuse me Mr Caterpillar. I think uh, I might help myself happy. Why don't you see if you can count the caterpillars who are hiding behind me? Bye.